Oliver Ivanovic, Serbian Cyrillic, Cyrillic capital letter O, Cyrillic small letter L, Cyrillic small letter A, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter ER, Cyrillic capital letter I, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter E, Cyrillic small letter EN, Cyrillic small letter O, Cyrillic small letter V, Cyrillic small letter I, Cyrillic small letter CH. The 1st of April 1953, the 16th of January 2018, was a Kosovo Serb politician. Ivanovic served as the State Secretary of the Ministry for Kosovo and Matahija from 2008 to 2012 and was also a member of the Coordination Center for Kosovo and Matahija from 2001 to 2008. He was assassinated by unknown perpetrators on the 16th of January 2018 in North Mitrovica. Early life and career Ivanovic was born in Znik, a village near Dekani in the west of the autonomous region of Kosovo and Metahija, at the time part of the People's Republic of Serbia of FPR Yugoslavia, on the 1st of April 1953. His father, Bogdan, was a history professor, and his mother, Alga, was a professor of Serbian language and literature. He also had brother Miroslav and sister Natasa. His paternal heritage is Montenegrin. He attended primary and secondary mechanical technical school in Kosovska Mitrovica. After turning 18, he joined the League of Communists of Yugoslavia in 1971. Ivanovic enrolled in the Zagreb Military Academy to become a pilot. During his studies he started training karate and quickly became an instructor. Three years into his studies he was diagnosed with congenital vision deficiency and left the military academy. He returned to Kosovo and graduated from the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering in Kosovska Mitrovica, University of Pristina. He also studied at the Faculty of Economics in Pristina. He continued, parallel to his studies professionally training in karate. He received higher belts and achieved recognition as an honorary international karate judge. After the studies, he worked in several companies in Kosovska Mitrovica. With the creation of multi-party system in SFR Yugoslavia in 1990, he stepped out of parties, stating that he is a man of the people. From 1991 to 1998, he was the head of sports center in Kosovska Mitrovica. Prior to the Kosovo War and the establishment of UNMIK in Kosovo, Ivanovic was a less known member of the Socialist Party of Serbia in Kosovska Mitrovica. Political Career 1999-2008, leader of Kosovo Serbs 1999-2004 with the establishment of the Serbian National Council of Kosovo and Metahija in 1999, he was appointed as the president of the executive board for North Kosovo. He was removed from this position on the 6th of June 2001. He was also removed from the presidential function of the Regional Board of Serbian National Council in October 2001. Also, from 1998 to 2004, he served as the general director of Nickel Mine Company, Feronikla, located in GLOGOVAC. Ivanovic joined the Democratic Alternative led by Nabazkovic. On the 2nd of August 2001, he became the head of the Department for Economic Development and Reconstruction of the Coordination Center for Kosovo and Mitahija, while the head of the center was Nivazilkovic. Ivanovic led the coalition return in the 2001 Kosovan parliamentary election held in November 2001, getting 89,388 votes which earned 22 places in the Assembly of Kosovo. 120 places in total for his coalition. He was appointed as the minister in the newly formed government of Kosovo and a member of the presidency of the Assembly of Kosovo on the 2nd of December 2001. In March 2004, a violent unrest in Kosovo broke out, in which Kosovo Albanians took part in wide-ranging attacks on the Kosovo Serbs minority. The government of Kosovo consisted of Serbian representatives fell soon after. 2004-2008 inches 2004, Ivanovic's party Democratic Alternative, DA, merged into the Social Democratic Party, SDP, 
and he together with Nebazakovic became one of the party's leaders. Also, in the same year he became the director of the National Employment Service for Kosovo and Metahija controlled by the government of Serbia. He was the leader of the Serbian list for Kosovo and Metahija in the 2004 Kosovan parliamentary election held in October 2004. The election was massively boycotted by Kosovo Serbs. Eventually, the list won 1,414 votes thus taking 8 out of 10 Serbian minority places in the Assembly of Kosovo, 110 places in total. 2008-2012 Governmental Position On the 17th of February 2008, Kosovo Albanians unilaterally declared independence from Serbia in the Assembly of Kosovo. In a meeting attended by 109 of the total 120 MPs, the Assembly unanimously declared Kosovo's independence, while all 11 representatives of the Kosovo Serbs minority boycotted the proceedings. In July 2008, Ivanovic joined the government of Serbia as the state secretary of the newly formed Ministry for Kosovo and Matahija under Minister Goran Bogdanovic. The ministry took over jurisdictions of disbanded Coordination Center for Kosovo and Matahija. In January 2010, the SDP ceased to exist, which resulted in an exchange of bitter words between Ivanovic and Kovic. Soon after, he formed a civic initiative, Srebija, Demokratija, Pravda, Ang, Serbia, Democracy, Justice. Since then, he served as president of the civic initiative. He stayed on the position of the state secretary until July 2012. In July 2012, Following the 2012 Serbian parliamentary election, Serbian Progressive Party led by Aleksandr Vucic and Socialist Party of Serbia led by Ivica Dasic formed the Government of Serbia. 2013-2018 Political decline in April 2013 the government of Serbia and the government of Kosovo signed the Brussels Agreement on the Normalization of Their Relations. 2013 Local elections In September 2013, Ivanovic announced that his civic initiative was forced to change its name from SDP, Srebija, Demokratija, Pravda, Ang, Serbia, Democracy, Justice, to GISDP. Oliver Ivanovic, following the request of the Central Election Commission of Kosovo, which banned the use of the other country's name for names of political organizations operating in Kosovo. Ivanovic decided to run in the 2013 Kosovan local elections for the president of North Mitrovica, with his civic initiative, SDP. The election campaign was marked with the Serbian Progressive Party led government of Serbia public calls to Kosovo Serbs to come out and vote in Kosovan elections organized by the government of Kosovo. For the first time since Kosovo gained independence, the government of Serbia also called the citizens to vote for the Serb list candidates. Eventually, Ivanovic lost to Krstomir Pantic of the Civic Initiative Serb list, finishing with 1,924 votes, 45.62%. 2014-17 imprisonment and threats in January 2014, two months following the local elections, Ivanovic was arrested on suspicion over war crimes during the 1990s. He was sentenced to nine years in jail on the 21st of January 2016 for war crimes by judges from the EU LEX Kosovo. However, the appeals court in Pristina annulled the guilty verdict on the 12th of February 2017 and ordered a new trial. In July 2017, his car was burned down by unknown perpetrators. In September 2017, three months after the 2017 Kosovan parliamentary election, the Serb list, with the support of the Serbian political leadership, formed the government of Kosovo with PNA coalition, which is formed of former Kosovo Liberation Army leaders, active in Kosovo war. Ivanovic was released from prison in early 2017 and at that time pointed out the poor circumstances in North Kosovo where Serbs formed the majority. In an interview, he stated that Kosovo Serbs in North Kosovo are not afraid of Kosovo Albanians but rather of Serbs, local criminals who ride in SUVs without car plates. He also said that, 
drugs are sold on every corner and parents are very concerned. He pointed that in just a few years, there had been over 50 cases of burn vehicles, many hand grenades thrown, and two unresolved murders committed, and added that, all this happened on a territory of just two and a half square kilometers, which happens to be completely covered by security cameras. He surmised that, it was obvious that police forces are afraid to offend the perpetrators and that, perpetrators likely come from security forces. 2017 local elections He decided to run in 2017 Kosovan local elections for the president of North Mitrovica, with his civic initiative, SDP. During the campaign, he publicly criticized the government of Serbia in ruling Serbian Progressive Party for favoring Serb list over other Serbian parties in Kosovan local elections. Gioran Rakic, a leader of the Serb list and opponent in elections for North Mitrovica, labeled Ivanovic as an irrelevant person in Kosovo politics. Also, prominent officials of the government of Serbia among whom was the director of the office for Kosovo and Metahija Marko Dahuric, blatantly discredited Ivanovic labeling him as traitor and anti-Serbian politician. Ivanovic responded by saying, I have proven my Serbian patriotism in a much more difficult way than those who are accusing me of being anti-Serbian, I hope will have to prove their Serbian patriotism. Got eventually, Ivanovic finished in second place with 1,475 votes, 18.52%, behind Goran Rakic who received 5,372 votes, 67.45%. Also, the Serb list won in all 10 Serb majority municipalities. Assassination On the 16th of January 2018, Ivanovic was shot in a drive-by shooting at 0817 CET while entering his office in North Mitrovica. Resuscitation was performed at Mitrovica Hospital shortly afterwards up to 9.15, but it was unsuccessful. Autopsy findings revealed that Ivanovic was killed by six 9mm power bullets from a Zastava M70E pistol mainly hitting his upper torso, vital organs, upper aorta, hollow vein and liver. In an interview four days prior to the assassination, he admitted that he feared for his safety. Soon afterwards, the president of Serbia, Aleksandr Vucic, scheduled an urgent session of the National Security Council of Serbia. He condemned the assassination and described it as an act of terror. The government of Kosovo condemned the assassination as well. This was the first assassination of a Serbian politician since the murder of former Prime Minister of Serbia Zoran Dindic 15 years earlier, on 12 March, 2003. His funeral was on Thursday, 18 January, in Belgrade New Cemetery. Investigation Investigation in Kosovo Kosovo police arrested four persons on the 23rd of November 2018, three suspected towards involvement in the murder and one for obstruction to police work. Silvana Arcevic, Oliver Ivanovic party's administrator, was detained for 48 hours on the 26th of November 2018 to be questioned under suspicion as if she manipulated security cameras outside the party office in Mitrovica before the murder when the murder took place near the office. Prosecutor Sal Hoexho said that Silvana Arcevic was detained only for 48 hours. Kosovo police officer Dragis Markovic was detained for one day on 10 February 2018 under suspicion of manipulating the evidences on the place of the murder of Oliver Ivanovic. Then, he was arrested the second time on 23 November 2018. Kosovo prosecutor Njaziri Exhoff said Dragis Markovic was not getting his duties in right order towards the crime scene. Kosovo police officer Nadeljko Spasovic was arrested on 23 November 2018 towards the murder. Marko Rasik, a person associated by media with Partisan Belgrade fan club, was arrested in the North Kosovo on 23 November 2018. Mario Milosevic, a Montenegrin citizen, was arrested on the 18th of July 2018 in Pristina. He was also on a warrant list by Interpol towards separate murder connected with organized crime in Podgorica.
Strahinja Dankovic was arrested together with Mario Milosevic. Montenegro media call him a football fan of Serbian club FK Red. Milan Rudasic, a businessman and head of Kosovo Serb party, Srpska Lista, was on suspicion towards involvement in the murder. His home was raided by Kosovo police on the 23rd of November 2018, but he escaped arrest fleeing to Serbia. There in Serbia, Milan Rudasic was interviewed on the 26th of November 2018 by Serbian police when he denied his any involvement in the case. Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic said that Milan Radosic is innocent, and Kosovo police wanted to kill him during Ray to put guilt of organizing the murder on Serbian government. Kosovo prosecutor Sil Hoeksva said on the 16th of April 2019 they added two persons in investigation as suspected to the organized crime. He didn't name the suspected god I in February 2020 started a trial against six Serbs charged with the participation in the assassination of Ivanovic. All of them pleaded not guilty of all charges at the preparatory hearing before Pristina's special court. Investigation in Serbia and Ibaza Stefanovic Serbian interior minister, told in January 2019 that Serbia is leading its own investigation towards the murder tracing some persons who were in North Kosovo then moved to Western Europe. He didn't name the suspected. President of Serbia Aleksandr Vucic stated that German-Albanian Fuljorum Ejupi is the wanted assassin, which was negated by the government in Pristina. Personal life beside his native language Serbian he also spoke Albanian, English and Italian. He was in relationship with Milena Popovic, with whom he had a son. He also had three sons by his previous marriage with Marina. He also had a daughter in a previous relationship. See also list of unsolved murders. Notes and references notes. References External links Biography Jolivaris Ivanovic at n1info.com In Serbian, Oliver Ivanovic at vreme.com In Serbian, Mysterious Balkan Assassination Threatens Regional Peace at Observer.com